Hello, welcome to a quick tips and trick video on how to ship large quantities of books. Here you have 200 books, or I have 200 books, 100 books in each short box. And then the key here for me is to find a box that fit both short box inside. In this case, it's a printer box and it's enough room on all four sides and corner to squeeze in a little bubble wrap now for those that ship or receive a lot of books you know the most dangerous area for all big box like this is the corners right yes the corners it's not the top or the bottom i don't care i don't care about the tops and the bottom but the box is going to be heavy okay so it is most important to protect the corners and depend on whoever it is that pick it up and drop it off they can literally drop it on one corner and ding the corner real badly right because it is a heavy box now if if they use a dolly not a big deal but you never know uh, but here is how I have come up with a way to make sure that all four corners are protected. First of all, as you can see, a hundred books leave you room on both corners of the short box. And then you also put bubbles there, right? So look at how much cushion, okay? How much cushion room to absorb any impact. So. I'm not worrying about the side. I'm not worrying about that side either, or this side, or that side, but all four corners. That's the key. You protect the corners, and most likely, there will be no harm done to the books, regardless of how rough the UPS guy is going to be, because I'm shipping this UPS ground for sure. It's so heavy. Oh, before I go, Make sure you bend your knees when you pick up the box because it is darn heavy, okay? <laughs> Don't pull your back out trying to lift it up. Bend your knees. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.